Hey, what is up guys? We're going to be doing a True King Salomon Great Deck Profile here. We are actually uh, utilizing the True Kings here. It's very interesting to actually combine them with the Salomon Greats, but it somehow synergizes incredibly well. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So right off the bat, we're obviously going to be playing uh, three copies of uh, Salomon Great Gazelle, uh, because it's still really amazing to actually play here. So we're playing also three copies of uh, Spiny or Spinny, uh, two ends, so it's Spinny. Uh, three copies of uh, Foxy just to help you excavate and add stuff to your hand. Uh, playing the one copy of Jack Jaguar, as long as it's in the grave, we only need one copy of it. Uh, apologies for that, let's just focus up the camera a bit. Playing one copy of Falco because again, we could just set some spells and traps when it's sent to the graveyard. Now, this particular deck is meant to be a... Uh, kind of a budget variant as well because uh, some people can't afford Lady Debugs because they never bought the structure deck. Uh, but right now, a really cheap option you could actually get is uh, Flame Buffalo. Also came out in a structure deck as well in Power Code Link, so it's definitely one of your options you could go for. A lot of people are playing this because firstly it's a level 3 and it's also a fire monster, so it definitely works quite nicely in this particular deck. We're also playing uh, three copies of uh, Bow Baboon. This card is definitely really interesting because it synergizes incredibly well with the uh, True Kings as well, so it's quite nice. Basically, uh, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, uh, you can special summon any number of Bow Baboon from your deck. So it just produces more level 3 monsters uh, to allow potentially an XE summon of a Mirage Stalio. So that's definitely really nice there. But of course, the main cards of the deck that we're featuring here is the uh, True Kings. So we're playing three copies of uh, Agni Mazud, the Vanisher. Uh, this card did actually come as a common reprint in the structure deck, so uh, definitely... Uh, add them into the deck, so it's quite nice there, but you do have to also get yourself three copies of uh, Baristos, the Fathomar as well. Uh, also works incredibly well, basically, uh, if they destroy each other, then you could also get effects, uh, but of course, you're also playing Dragonic Diagram, so that could definitely work as well. Uh, but to end things off, we're playing three copies of Ash, because Salomon Greats, Interestingly enough, Ash Blossom is a staple in Salomon Greats because it's a fire monster and it can be added back from the graveyard as well uh, through your Salomon Great Link monsters, so it's definitely quite nice to see that's there. Uh, on top of that, it's a level 3 and it's a fire monster, so it's just a perfect card to actually put into this deck here. But that's it for the monsters, let's move on to spells. Alright, so moving on to spells, we're playing three copies of Circle, basically our road off the deck and also our protection as well for a bit, playing a Salomon Great Sanctuary because again, uh, Revival Link Summoning is definitely one of the greatest options ever. Uh, we're also playing three copies of Dragonic Diagram because we have our True Kings as well and uh, it synergizes quite well with uh, a lot of different things as well. Uh, we're also playing two copies of Terraforming uh, to search mostly for the Dragonic Diagram simply because uh, Sanctuary can be already searched through uh, Bella Link so no need to... Uh, use uh, terraforming to search that and to end things off we're playing two copies of called by the grave uh, you could add in a third if you want but uh, two is fine for me for trap cards we're playing one copy of raw and one copy of rage and that's pretty much it for the main deck uh, really simple build here we just it's a really big monster count so uh, yeah but you know we'll just move on to the extra deck Alright, so with the extra deck, we're playing uh, two copies of Heat Leo, because again, uh, Revival Link Summoning is definitely an option, so why not? Uh, I apologize, I'm only playing two copies of Sunlight Wolf, uh, I don't have a third yet, so still trying to look for that, uh, but in the meantime, just playing two for now, and uh, you know, it's still fine, you have Jack Jaguar, so no big deal there. Uh, and I'm playing three copies of Bella Lynx, but I think if I got my third Sunlight Wolf, I would drop Bella Lynx to two and then uh, bump su Sunlight Wolf to three. So that would be my choice there. Uh, also playing one copy of Violet Chimera. Uh, yes, we didn't play Fusion of Fire in this deck, but uh, I did put Fusion of Fire in my uh, side deck, so I still keep Violet Chimera just there. And not to mention, I also play Winter Cherries, so in a mirror match, uh, it actually works quite well against uh, the opponent as well. We are also playing uh, Transco Talker as well as our Update Jammer, simply cards to help us uh, pretty much OTK our opponent. 
Uh, and of course, we're playing two copies of Mirage Stelio because, uh, again, this card's a lot easier to get into, but two is more than enough. Uh, playing one copy of Nightmare Phoenix, it's a fire, it's great. Uh, most people choose it over a Cerberus. I still play Cerberus, but if you must take out Cerberus, uh, then take it out. Uh, keep Phoenix, it's just a lot better. And we're also playing Hita, the Fire Charmer. Again, uh, mirror matches occur way too much, so I'm definitely thinking that Hita is definitely a lot better here. And potentially, I might even add in more if I could actually find some different kind of spacing here. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this deck profile. I found it to be a really interesting variant of the deck. Uh, I believe it was a deck that someone actually topped in a recent tournament or something. That particular deck was played at one of my tourneys that I went to, and I just saw that build and thought maybe I'll try it out, and so far it's been working pretty nicely for me. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because I don't think it's one of those uh, common builds uh, most of the Salomon Great players out there know. As a result, uh, it's just something I thought would be fun to show off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile, so hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.